Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up filter controls in Looker Studio. Something along the lines of these filters that I've got uh, at the top here of this report. So if we just jump over to this page, um, for the background color, I mean, you can keep it white if you like. Um, I usually prefer a colored background and quite easy to change. So just file, theme and layout, customize, and then let's change it to uh, red, for example. So obviously this um, table here would need to be edited and changed a bit, um, but we're going to focus on the filter controls. So what we need to do is come up the top here to add a control and you've got a few here to choose from. I prefer the drop down list for my filter controls. So I'll just pop this over here. Uh, and then if we go to the style and the uh, background, change that to, is that white? Looks like it's white, yeah, white or grey, but anyway, so we'll use that. Um, just so that you know as well, if you wanted to try different uh, versions of the control, you've got a fixed size list, which looks like this. You've got a input box where you're actually typing in what you want to filter. You've got the advanced filter. Uh, and then you've got the slider which doesn't look like it's working there, uh, and also the checkbox. So yeah, like I was saying, I usually prefer the drop down list for these filters. So I'm just going to make that a bit thinner. And then we're going to clone that a few times. So just duplicate, duplicate, and you'll see the uh, the red line there lets me know that it's aligned with the other ones. So duplicate. And what we might just do is select all of these and then uh, arrange distribute horizontally. So that the spacing between each is even. We just move it across a bit. And then we're going to also add a date filter as well. So uh, add a control. And down the bottom here is a date range control. Okay, so that can go here. Might need to make that a little bit thinner. What we might actually need to do is... Uh, Make all of these fractions smaller. Uh, then what we can do is copy the formatting here for this one. Select the date range control, paste special, paste style, and that then copies the, the formatting so that the background color is the same. We'll make this a bit larger. And that looks pretty decent. So the only thing now that we need to do is actually set the fields or the dimensions for each filter. So we just go over to this one and then jump over here. Um, so for the control field here, the dimension, let's choose country. And then you've got a metric down the bottom as well, which is optional. So we'll keep this in as views. And then if you click on the drop down arrow, you'll see it's got the countries uh, with the amount of views next to it here. And you can, just move this out of the way, you can order these. So if you want either the metric or the dimension to be sorted, usually I prefer the dimension to be sorted in ascending order. And then you'll see here that it has sorted the countries in alphabetical order. All right. But you can also 
sort it by views as well if that's what you prefer to do so that's the country for this one let's change this one to the city let's change this one to the region and this one we can set maybe to the device category so device category and then you've got your date control over here so this is where you set the default date range usually for this one i like to keep it at the last 30 days but obviously you can choose any of these dates in here that you like so i like to go the last 30 days not including today uh, you click on apply and then that will automatically set that to default to the last 30 days um, for all of the information in this table here okay so now we can easily if we go to the view we can easily come in here and we can if we wanted only traffic from australia we would click on only and then click out of there and then it will show in this table even though you can't see it very well because of the background it will show only the filtered information that's relevant for australia and if you wanted to do city we could do perth which is where i'm from it's not actually showing up anything there but anyway um we just go back select all of them and then the device category here we could select desktop only and again it's not not quite working properly there but you get the idea and then with these dates as well we could choose uh, the last week in here the last seven days and it will filter the information in this table based on all of these control filters that we've got set up the top here so hopefully that's helpful if you've got any questions uh, regarding that or if you'd like any other videos for me to create just let me know in the comments thanks